As you can see here, I'm fishing uh, some hydrilla and Lake Toho and practice had a ton of bites here. A lot of good bites, good three, four pound fish. But uh, first day of the tournament, I spent till about 10, 1030 there. But the second morning, it just wasn't happening. So I decided to scrap everything, run down to Lake Kissimmee and focus on my strength, which is punching mats. And I figured if I had any kind of shot of coming back in the tournament, it would be to go down to Kissimmee and punch mats. The first day I had, I don't even know, three or four fish for eight or nine pounds. I had one five pounder. It was just, I had that one good bite and everything else didn't work out that day. But as you can see here, here first spot I stop at, I flip in a mat and catch a, you know, a nice chunky two, two and a half pounder. Almost a four pounder. It's not quite, but. Big eye in them. I had hooked that fish in a bad spot. I don't know if it was in the tongue or what, and, but I uh, dropped it right there in the water to rinse it off to get all that blood off so it just wouldn't go everywhere. I expect the one to be about nine. <laughs> Every time I've ever been here, I always practice this lake. The one time I don't. Oh, he's gonna go mug it. Yeah, I'm just weighing the fish. 
Oh, that neck in the face? Yeah, what you like. <laughs> Database saved my day. Yeah! Biggest fish of the day right at the end. Big call coming back here. Right around 1 or 1 30 I decided to pull the plug early on Lake Kissimmee and start heading back. I didn't know what the lock situation was going to be so I really didn't want to risk it. Um, turns out by the time I got back to Lake Tahoe I had about an hour left to fish so I decided to go straight to offshore brush and uh, throw a big one ounce spinner bait on it because the conditions were perfect for it and uh, just pray for a big bite since I already have five fish. Figured there's no use of going up shallow and just trying to catch another keeper. I just wanted to go straight offshore and at least give myself a chance of getting a bigger bite. And the funny thing I did here, I was throwing a one ounce spinner bait with a uh, seven to one reel and it was just, it was just too much drag. It was pulling the bait up too fast. I couldn't quite reel the bait slow enough. So I decided to cut the spinner bait off the rod that I had and switched over to a uh, seven six bad. medium heavy rod of 16 pound test and uh, a six to one reel. Just that way I could just fish the bait a lot slower. And uh, as soon as I made my next cast with it, it just felt so much better and I could keep the bait closer to the bottom, that eight to 10 foot of water. And uh, for this next fish catch, uh, it really, it really paid off. You can tell I was fishing Lake Placid. <laughs> There's a 6-3 to one, it'll slow me way down. I'm just gonna run bush piles with that and just open.
Damn seven pound. Oh my god. Yes! Hammer's <laughs> rolling, baby. On the damn spinner bait. Yes! Are you Dude, I thought I had the brush pile went like yeah. it got tight. I'm like <laughs> Dude, my drag set yeah, pretty set. good and went. Yeah. And, and it <laughs> <to a> drag. <laughs> oh my god, it <laughs> just came off. Oh my god, I'm fucking spinner bait. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> About a six pound call. Yeah. It's 252, so.